What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. Today we got another movie review. Today we're looking at Dr. Sleep. Dr. Sleep is the follow-up to The Shining now. Just like any Stephen King story, it gets pretty messed up. So we follow Danny Torrance. Now if we all remember Danny Torrance from The Shining, he was a little boy that was getting terrorized in the Overlook Hotel. And we basically expand more on his shine as they call it in the movie now his shine is basically it's essentially like a supernatural ability but he's trying to go past what he experienced at the overlook hotel he even changed locations there was a lot of development from his from when he was a childhood to adulthood he developed alcoholism and it was just his life was just going all over the place until he decides to move so danny torrance moves to a small town and he runs into the character played by Cliff Curtis, who I don't remember the name of it because the character the character stood out enough, but just not enough for me to remember the actual character's name. The character played by Cliff Curtis uh, assisted Danny Torrance in recovering from his alcoholism and recovering from his past issues. However, as the story progresses, we run into a cult known as the True Knot. Now, the True Knot is a group of essentially equally powerful and spiritual cult who feed on the shine of others. Now, according to the lore of The Shining and Dr. Sleep, everybody has shine. It's just some people, it's more prominent than others, which is where we end up running into uh, this girl named Abra Stone who has basically the same amount of shine that Danny Torrance has. And the true not find out about her and her abilities and her shine and seek her out. But she made herself known. Now, obviously in this review, I'm not going to give everything away, but I will give you as far as that much. My thoughts on the movie and the story and everything... I believe the story was very solid. The movie was very slow at the beginning, but I would say after the first hour, it does start to pick up. Um, they did great as far as the character development on Danny Torrance and everybody from The Shining, as far as like when he and like how he aged since then. And there is also a throwback to the Overlook Hotel, and there's a lot of flashbacks to The Shining. There's a lot of flashbacks to the images that Danny Torrance saw at the Overlook Hotel leading up to the climax of the fi finale of the, the final bit of the movie. Now, the story was great. The story was great. It picked up fine. It f basically went from The Shining to X amount of years later to Danny's adulthood and how he developed from that. All comes in to the conclusion of how Doctor Sleep ends. Where Danny clears his life up, cleans his life up, meets Abra. Two of them basically embark on this whole synopsis of Dr. Sleep. Now, my final scoring on this movie. As much as I love Stephen King stories, as much as the development was great, as much as I enjoyed the story of it. I'm giving Dr. Sleep a 7.59 out of 10. Why 7.9? Because it's pretty close to getting to that 8 mark. The only thing that that impacted for me was the slow start. Because the movie the movie runs about two and a half hours long. And could easily, easily be at least hour 45 minutes. Other than that little time constraint, and other than that little slowdown in the beginning as far as like the build up. Which, again, if nobody is aware of the storytelling for any of the Stephen King stories, there are, it tends to be a bit of a build-up, but this was more of a build-up than normal. Heck, even Pet Cemetery did not have this slow of a build-up. That's just my opinion. Is it worth the watch? Absolutely. And to sum up this video, go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. I understand that the movie's been out for at least a week now, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I've actually got a couple of videos planned for this week, this weekend, so... This is the first one, expect two more on Sunday. Another review, and a special video that came to me, but you'll see it. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.